Hello guys, welcome back to Algo Trading. Today we are going to learn how to calculate simple moving average and standard deviation in Python using Pandas data frame rolling method. This is a very quick video to understand how we can calculate simple moving average and standard deviation. Let's open a new Jupyter notebook and let's get started. First, we have to import three libraries, which is NumPy, SPD, uh, sorry NumPy, SNP, Pandas SPD, and Matplotlib.pyplot SPLT. Here, I have put Matplotlib in line because we are using Jupyter notebook. If you are using some other IDs, then no need to do inline for Matplotlib. All right. We have first thing we need to import our data set here i am using the data set for reliance stock price for national stock exchange i have downloaded that stock price for reliance from national stock exchange and saved in my desktop so what i'm going to do here i'm importing this data set so i'm creating a data frame called df which is equal to pd.read csv this is the path which is desktop because I have saved that file in desktop for you this might be different and you, you should put the folder name where you have already saved the file this is the file name reliance.ns.csv that is the file name for me for you guys it might be different so you have to change this and then index call is equal to dead which means I want to start the indexing from column dead now let this piece of code and then see how our data set is looking like. Now let's see how our data is looking like. So then df dot head. So if I run this piece of code, I can see the first five row of our data set. So let's see. So this is our data set. This is the first five row of our data set. This is open, high, low, close, adjusted, close, and volume. And these are the reliant stock price for this debt for NSE. Now, let's see what is the last five uh, rows, which is our tail of our data set. I'll put that. Now I can see here last five row of our data set. Well, let's move on. So here I'm going to create the 30 days moving average or 30 days rolling mean on our closing price and 20 days rolling standard deviation on our closing price. So what we are going to do, we are going to create two new column. The first column name is 30 MA close and the second column name is 20 STD close. In the first column, we are going to calculate 30 days rolling mean and it will save the value in this column and in the second column we are going to calculate 20 days rolling standard deviation and the value will save in this column so let's run this piece of code and see how our data is looking like now so put df dot head and then i'm going to put here 31 because i'm going to um, see first 35 row if i just put dot head it will give you default five rows then we are going to miss these two values because we are taking the windows as 30 and 20 yep so once you run this you can see the value for first 31 rows now let's see here you can see these two new column the first column is 30 ma close which one this second column is 20 std close which one is this and then this value is your 30 days rolling mean and this is your 20 days rolling standard deviation now you might wonder why there is n a n value for first 19 rows it's because we are taking the window chase 30 because we are calculating the 30 days rolling mean so it means that the first 29 rows first 29 value it will take and it will do a average of it and it will put into on 30th 
column or 30th row yeah so this is this is this is why the first 29 row or the first 29 value and first 19 value is n n or 0 here yeah so now let's put both closing price and 30 days moving average on closing price together and see how it looks like so i put this both here and you can see the blue one is my closing price and the orange one is my 30 days moving average on closing price yeah so this is how you can calculate simple moving average and standard deviation in my next video i'm going to tell you how to use these two moving average and standard deviation and to calculate bollinger bands and some other technical indicators till then take care bye thanks for watching these videos